Uh, thank you for the invitation to speak, Dr. Grothy, Dr. Ilson. Uh, I think at the end of the day, Dr. Crane and I probably come to an agreement uh, on the optimal regimen, uh, but I've been asked to support the role of SBRT for borderline resectable cancer. Uh, so before we start, I think we need to take a step back and recognize the roles of our treatment for localized pancreas cancer. Uh, there's level one evidence supporting that surgery and chemotherapy both improve local control and survival. However, when you consider conventional chemoradiation, which I'm defining as 45 to 54 gray using conventional fractions of 1.8 to 2 gray over five to six weeks, or what we call long course chemoradiation, certainly improves local control, although the impact on survival I think is questionable. And this has been examined with some older studies, recognizing they have their limitations. But if you look at the SPAC study and the EORTC studies, looking at adjuvant long course chemoradiation, there's no convincing survival advantage. And then if you look at locally advanced disease in the LAP07, again, no convincing survival advantage for long course chemoradiation. So when considering preoperative radiation in the context of localized, potentially curable treatment where we have two proven therapies, chemotherapy and surgery, I think that the radiotherapy should be minimized. Uh, it's providing a local control benefit without a survival benefit. Therefore, we should minimize time off of chemotherapy and delays to surgery. Um, so I would advocate for accelerated, hypofractionated radiation therapy regimens as opposed to traditional, conventional, long course chemoradiation. Accelerated in a sense that they're delivered in five to 15 fractions over one to three weeks. Hypofractionated, meaning a higher dose per fraction compared to the conventional 1.8 to 2 gray. Uh, with these techniques, you can reduce the high dose volume to uh, relatively small volume and reduce normal tissue exposure. And we have some techniques for delivering high precision uh, therapy in 2019 with image guided techniques as well as motion control techniques. Uh, just as a side note, as Dr. Crane had alluded to, SBRT in the United States is defined uh, due to billing as being five fractions or less. Um, so this is an example of a patient treated with SBRT for pancreas cancer, getting 40 gray in five fractions uh, over five days. This is an example uh, comparison of a patient uh, getting SBRT, uh, relatively small volume, again compared to more conventional chemoradiation volumes, which are generally larger. The most compelling data supporting the role of radiotherapy for localized or borderline resectable cancer uh, comes from the PREOPANC study, which has been presented at ASCO, but not yet in manuscript form. And I'll highlight that this used a hypofractionated, accelerated radiation regimen, so not a long course chemotherapy regimen, but a, a shortened regimen over three weeks. <laughs> And in this study, there was a survival advantage with giving a accelerated, hypofractionated course of treatment prior to surgery compared to chemotherapy alone. Uh, the largest series looking specifically at preoperative SBRT comes from uh, Moffitt Cancer Institute. Uh, they have a series of almost 160 patients, most borderline resectable cancer, receiving 30 gray and five fractions prior to potential resection. Their R0 rate was 96%, which is likely a testament to their surgical skills. And the uh, severe acute toxicity rate was acceptably low. When they looked at their borderline patients, uh, the median survival was uh, reasonable at 34 months for patients who underwent a uh, resection. There are a couple of retrospective series comparing preoperative SBRT versus preoperative long course chemoradiotherapy for patients with borderline resectable or locally advanced disease. This is a series from Hopkins where they looked at their experience with 33 and 5 SBRT regimen compared to long course chemoradiation. And really they saw no difference in regard to surgical outcomes as far as R0 resection, complication rates, uh, pathologic response, and margins. A similar series from Colorado, again looking at preoperative SBRT versus uh, conventional long course chemoradiotherapy in borderline resectable patients, uh, 33, fraction, uh, 33 gray and 5 fractions versus uh, 54 and uh, 50.4 and 28 fractions. And again, they saw no difference in pathologic outcomes or survival compared to the, uh, comparing the two regimens. 
As Dr. Crane mentioned, um, there's a small uh, phase two study that's been published looking at preoperative SBRT uh, using a very small field of tumor as defined on uh, CT scan plus three millimeter margin. Uh, this treatment was well tolerated and patients were able to undergo R0 resections. However, in the first six patients, they noted that five of them developed local failure in a predictable location, which is in the uh, retroperitoneal uh, celiac and SMA uh, region. <coughs> this is an example of a pancreatic head tumor that they treated with minimal margin and the recurrence happened uh, just proximally along the uh, celiac artery. They subsequently modified their approach to give uh, 33 gray to the tumor plus three millimeters, but then also treat the regional nodes, including the celiac and SMA with a lower dose of 25 gray and five fractions. And what they found that they could still safely give uh, SBRT type of doses and reduce the local recurrence risk by covering a little bit larger area. Uh, I would agree with Dr. Crane. Um, I think at our institution, uh, we like uh, something in the middle between SBRT versus long course chemoradiation. We have a study open uh, for patients with intact uh, uh, pancreas cancer who are planned to undergo resection. They can be either resectable, borderline resectable, or locally advanced. Um, patients can receive any uh, background chemotherapy, uh, fulfurinox or gemabroxane for any number of cycles, uh, and then they receive three weeks of IMRT combined with uh, capecitabine, uh, giving a dose of 45 gray and 15 fractions to the tumor plus a margin, and then a dose of 37.5 and 15 to the elective nodes. Uh, and this uh, trial is occurring very well at our institution. This is now our uh, preferred regimen that we use for these patients. Uh, so in summary, conventional chemoradiation defined as long course treatment of 25 to 30 fractions improves local regional control. However, there's no compelling evidence of a benefit in terms of survival. And therefore, I would submit that shorter courses of radiotherapy, uh, 5 to 15 fractions delivered in 1 to 3 weeks, are safe, efficacious, and preferred over a protracted course of conventional chemoradiation.